Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Greetings, fellow mortals. Just a reminder, saying it's just my opinion is for cowards. We live in a world where a lot of our entertainment is negative. We often follow flawed characters in an irredeemable broken world, where even the best possible ending is a bad outcome for a significant number of people, and the anti-heroes and villain protagonists delight in the madness. While many of these stories are, in fact, engaging, it can be a bit depressing to watch terrible people race to see who can sink the lowest. Sometimes you just want to watch good people be inspiring and make a positive outcome when everyone around them mocks them, but then the hero stuns the doubters by overcoming the impossible odds. They might even make their enemies rethink their entire worldviews, whether the characters be stagnant or developing. These are 10 positive, inspiring characters in no particular order. Oh, and no Luke Skywalker here. Sorry, The Last Jedi turned him into a bitter old man. It's not a judgment, it's a statement of fact. Number one is Kazuga Ichiban from Like a Dragon. I'm not gonna lie here, I love this man. He is the best. You wouldn't think that the Like a Dragon fanbase would embrace him so readily. After all, he was replacing a main character who stood in the spotlight for seven whole games and multiple spinoffs. But Ichiban did it by being positive, loving, loyal, understanding, and goofy. Ichiban loves people so much that he often leaves strangers dumbfounded by his kindness. He's wacky and wild to the point of changing the entire series fighting style just because he views himself as a hero from Dragon Quest. Describing him doesn't do him justice. You have to experience his story and his character in action to get what makes him so great. He makes you want to be the person that he knows that you can be. Do you like him and don't like him is nothing you could do about him because he's number one. Whether you like him or don't like him is nothing you can do about him because he's number one. Number two is Son Goku from all of the various different versions of Dragon Ball, because of course he is on this list. I might have pissed off the entire world by ignoring him. Talk about a character that's been around forever. Starting in 1984, Goku was always the pure-hearted fighter who was trying to make every place he visited a better place. You might have an easier time making a list of characters he hasn't helped redeem themselves compared to those that just die. Okay. Okay, maybe that's a bit much, but all of his friends were antagonistic to him at the start. Even Bulma shot him in the head. But he's turned everyone around, trained to be the strongest, and inspired countless people in real life too. Master martial artist, super saiyan, inspiration, hope to the weak, and a great father despite what the internet may say. Goku is so great that he can unite people across various different cultures in real life. What is more cheerful and inspiring than that? I love this man. Number three is Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. Before watching Parks and Rec, I never would have thought that I would unironically enjoy a politician character. I would be disgusted with them in some way even if I enjoyed their antics. Because politics is the pit that always brings the worst out of everyone involved. But not Leslie Nope. Forgetting the weird exception with Gary, she sees the absolute best in everyone. She pushes them to be their best, even when they don't want to reach their true potential. She cares more than anyone, and actually wants to make the world a better place. Not for her own gain, but because she cares and loves so much. If every politician and government worker was like her, I wouldn't have a problem with the United States government at all. And considering that's a deep, rooted hatred, that's saying something. Leslie is a character who inspires me, but not enough to actually get involved in real life politics. If I ever run for office, I have decided to become a super villain and you need to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is Arthur Claus from Arthur Christmas. Now this might be a weird choice, but Arthur is a character who really clicked with me. I never thought that I would have liked his movie as much as I did. At the start, he comes off as a goof, a klutz, and a mess up. 
but he's also the one who has the biggest heart in his family. Arthur believes in the ideals of the Christmas season. Hope, love, goodwill towards mankind. His goal doesn't seem world shattering. One child, one present. In terms of statistics, as pointed out by his brother, that's meaningless but not to Arthur. He sees the children as individuals, as people. He wants to make them happy. He wants to make everyone happy. Not for his own ego like the other members of his family, but because he genuinely loves people. Oh, it? <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? Number five is Monkey D. Luffy. When I first introduced One Piece to my wife, I was afraid that she would hate Luffy. He's a dumb character, and she generally doesn't enjoy stupid characters. Imagine my relief when her first words describing him were, oh, he's delightful, which meant that she was sold, because that's how the entire world of One Piece reacts to Luffy. There's hardly a foe who's faced off against Luffy that hasn't redeemed themselves in at least some way. He he inspires the people around him and always leaves the islands that he visits in a better position than when he got there, all while only asking for food in return, which makes him a little more selfish than some of the people on this list, but Luffy doesn't call himself a hero. It's everyone else that looks at him in awe. <laughs> Number six is Wander from Wander Over Yonder. As I was getting out of high school, I stopped watching a lot of cartoons because I thought a grown ass man shouldn't be into cartoons. But as I matured, I realized that I can like whatever I damn well please. And Wander Over Yonder helped me come to this realization, along with Gravity Falls, of course. Wander is what SpongeBob used to be in the early years. He's cheerful, loving, positive, and slightly annoying at times, at least to the villains. He's a ball of empathy. He's a guy who just travels the galaxy looking for people to help, citizens to inspire, and villains to redeem. There isn't a selfish bone in his body, so much so that he's found the goodness in seemingly the worst individuals in his universe. Special shout out to the Black Cube. I love that character and that episode so much. Miss Little Black Cube. Number seven is Paddington from the series with the same name. This is actually a character I put in another list recently. This one, in fact, he's a punching bag character, but he takes the world's punishment in stride. He sees the positives in everything and everyone. Even when a situation or a stranger is scary, he tries to be cheerful and give everyone the benefit of the doubt. There's hardly a character that he meets that he doesn't inspire to be better and treat those around them with a bit more kindness. He meets rudeness and hostility with genuine interest and concern for the other person. He sees them as people first and foremost. He sees his own struggles in them, and instead of taking his pain out on others, he tries to lighten other people's loads, and they eventually do the same in kind. You know, like how the real world should be. <laughs> Would you get out of here? Number eight is Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay, maybe I should put Aang in this place. He's the Avatar after all. He's the one who travels the world saving people. He's the one who put an end to the Hundred Year War, but he's also the guy with countless past lives, all the power in the world, and a bunch of people in his corner. Uncle Iroh has none of that, just his own experiences. He has to be a rock for Zuko. He has to be the one who gives others advice. He's a well of wisdom, understanding, and kindness. He makes the most of every situation because he has seen the worst the world has to offer. While in constant emotional turmoil, he seeks to help others to not make the same mistakes as him. If there's a ray of hope for you, he won't give up on you, which says something when he dismisses you as a lost cause. No. She's crazy and she needs to go down. Number 9 is Arnold Shortman from Hey Arnold. 
Now, this was perhaps one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. An odd pick, I know, but there was something so genuine about Arnold going around and helping people with their troubles. He might be the main character, but each episode is usually about someone else and their struggles. He's the kid who's wise beyond his years, the guru. In many ways, he's the ray of hope that other people need to make the right decisions in their lives. And it all comes back together with the TV movie that released years upon years after the series was canceled, tying a bow on his story. It was nice to see all the callbacks to old episodes where he helped people, especially the Christmas one. Number 10 is Superman. Yeah, I couldn't leave him off the list. He's the all-powerful, completely moral character that everyone looks up to. He's such a good person that even Batman likes him, and Batman doesn't like anyone. He's so amazing that most writers don't know what to do with him. There's too many evil Supermen and new origin stories now. No, he's just a good guy from Kansas that just so happens to have all of the power in the universe. He's the type of person you would trust to be a god. His existence automatically makes the world a better place. He sees the good in everyone, sometimes even in Lex Luthor of all people, showing sympathy and love for all of his greatest nemeses and haters. All the while, knowing that he's the last of his people, alone, overpowered, causes fear in the people around him by simply existing. Yeah, if that's not a well of infinite stories, I don't know what is. Please stop doing evil Superman. Superman is so inspiring, but unfortunately he's too good for our world, and it's terrible writers. And those are 10 cheerful, inspiring characters. It's not a definitive list. I could have named more. So make sure to leave a comment down below of someone that you thought I should have added. I'd love to have a discussion with you. And if you disagree with any of this, that's fine. After all, everyone is entitled to their objectively wrong opinion. First, let's get one thing straight. I'm not crying. I'm just sweating through my eyes. Thank you all so much for watching. You're still here? Good night, everybody. Thank you. You buy, boom. Do not despair.